How are they guys? Today we're going to be looking at our basic constructions worksheet. In front of us we get an instruction stating that we would need to use the suitable construction methods to complete the following. We're going to be focusing on the top three and then we're going to be moving on to the bottom three drawings or construction methods. Let's have a look at number A or letter A. Letter A Bisect the line and label where necessary. Right, well we're not going to label for this intents and purposes. We're simply going to be uh, pointing out and showing you guys how to uh, bisect the line. So we're going to open up our compass from the one side of the line and we're going to go over halfway. So SolidWorks is so kind, um, it actually states where halfway is, but we are going to be doing it with the method of construction. So I'm going to go ahead and construct myself a nice big arc. There it is there. And I'm going to do the same from the side over here. I'm going to open up over halfway. Remember, it has to be over halfway. So if that is halfway there, we have to open up over halfway. In your case, please do not change the size of your compass you will keep the size of your compass the same when you are drawing an arc from the side and from the side. I'm going to be making sure that I am in fact drawing the same size arc by providing a measurement in which I can secure that fact. Right. I always say that if I have my fishing rod, I must be able to find my fish. Right, so if I have these two intersecting points, remember there's always a reason why we do certain things. There is a reason behind this arc, as there is a reason behind this arc. That is to provide us this intersecting point over here, and this intersecting point over here. I'm going to be taking my line. It'll need to be done with a final line, and I'm going to be using it connecting this intersecting point to this intersecting point. There's a slight inaccuracy, so I'd like to correct that. And I'm going to be drawing from that intersecting point right through this intersecting point right here. Right, so let's see if SolidWorks and my construction method agree. Yes, they do. My line goes through this little intersection point here, which is the middle. Great. Remember that when I am bisecting a line, I will always have to have a, this line over here making a perpendicular or 90 degree angle to the provided line. Right, let's move on to letter B. Bisect the angle and label where necessary. So we're going to open up our compass from this corner over here and we're going to scribe an arc. I'm going to make the length of that arc something I can ident identify with. 20 millimeters. You can, uh, yet again, just open up your compass any size. Uh, remember that this arc is drawn for a reason. It is to find this intersecting point here and this intersecting point here. We're going to be using them to pinpoint our compass point 2. And we're going to go ahead and scribe yet another arc from it. And scribe another arc from this point over here. Okay, remember your compass is not going to change. In my 
our case, I have to set my results to look like it did not change. Right, and these are obviously going to be done in construction lines. And I'm going to use my final line to go from my angle through my point and I've bisected my angle. Great, let's move on to letter C. Letter C says drop a perpendicular line from the point provided onto the line. Please look at the word onto. So I'm going to be dropping a, po a perpendicular line from this point here straight down onto the line here. Not through but onto the line. Let's have a look at how we achieve this. I'll go ahead and open up my compass so that I can go ahead and draw a nice smiley face. There we go. Yet again remember guys we are drawing this arc for a reason and it is also in construction line. The reason is to find this intersecting point here and to find this intersecting point over here. I do not change the size of my compass. You will not change the size of your compass. I'm going to make it easy for me to refer to a specific size. And you're going to open up your compass from this intersecting point over here. And scribe an arc. Don't worry if it goes through the actual words of the, the question below. We'll sort that out. Open up my compass and put my compass point in this intersecting point, which was method beyond my madness. Scribe yet another arc. Remember these two arcs would need to be in construction line. And I'm going to obviously have to make sure that from this point to this point I have the same distance, which was 30. And from this point over here to this point over here was also a distance of 30. Let's double check my original distance. Thirty. Right. Now that I have found this intersecting point over here, I will now need to join that intersecting point to the given point. That point over there, you will be doing this simply with your t-square and a 90 degree z-square. Lining up the two points, the intersecting point and the given point, to give you a result looking like this. But this is where the trick comes in. They say that I had to drop a perpendicular line from the point provided onto the line and not through the line. This line over here, if it is a solid line or a final line going right through, it would not answer the question. We will need to drop, drop that point perpendicularly onto the line. So I'm going to use my trimming tool just to take away the bottom half and to indicate that I am actually dropping it onto the line. This point will need to be in line with the intersecting point in construction. Right. That'll be the answer for number C or letter C. Let's move on to the bottom three. Now, letter D asked me to erect a perpendicular line from the point provided on the line. There it is there. We're simply going to open up our compasses yet again. We're working on a construction and I'm going to go ahead and scribe an arc. I'm going to make it specific size to work with for my own reference on the computer. 
remember you will open up your compass and you then will not change the size of the compass throughout this entire exercise. Right, I'm going to then go ahead and go scribe an arc from my given points. So, yeah, my new found points. Remember, these points must have reasons for existence. So I'm going to go from this point over here and I'm going to go ahead and scribe an arc through that end over there. And I'm going to do the same on this end over here. There we go. I'm going to make sure that I have the same distances. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to keep it the same distance. I'm going to go to my intersecting point. Last thing about having a computer can zoom in exactly on the point. I'm going to go ahead and scribe an arc. And I'm going to do the same on this side over here. And scribe an arc. Let's make sure that these are the exact same diff distances apart. Right, now that I've managed to construct or put all my construction methods together when I draw a line with my set square, 90 degrees set square with a final line I will now need to be able to draw from this point right through my intersecting point and that test is successful that is what my answer will be for D Right, let's move on to E. E is asking for me to draw the inscribed circle using the triangle below. Right, so if I'm using an inscribed circle, the word says it all. If I may, I'm going to go and highlight the word in just so that you see that inscribed circle means it's going to happen on the inside. So therefore, all my construction method also has to be on the inside. I'm going to take my compass, and I'm going to scribe an arc from one of my corners. I'm going to go to the second corner, and I'm going to do exactly the same. And I'm going to go to the third corner and do exactly the same. Now for the this video, I'm going to be using set distances. You will obviously keep the same distance for the entire construction method that you'll be using. I'm going to use 12. Please do not change your compass lengths throughout this entire exercise. Right, now that I've set them all the same, I'm going to go to my intersecting point and I'm going to go and scribe an arc from this point and over this point over here. So what I'm theoretically doing is I'm bisecting my angles So, remember, just above, we bisected angles. Right, if we had to join a line from this point down to this point here, over here, we will have this result right here. We are going to be bisecting all three angles so that we can ensure we are actually getting a very accurate center point for our circle that we're going to be drawing.
Right, I'm simply going to extend that line. Remember that all this work over here would also have to be under construction line. And we're going to do exactly the same here. So let's zoom in on this corner over here. Let's bisect this angle over here. I'm going to go to the intersecting point. Let's make sure that we get the most accurate point. Advantages of having a computer. And we're going to simply scribe an arc from that point over there. Open up my compass from this intersecting point and scribe an arc that way. I'm going to go to each one of these and make sure that they are simply the same distances apart. We don't want to have any size differences in compass lengths. So keep your compass the same size. And we're going to pass accurately through my intersecting point over here. Right, we've just created another intersecting point, but we need to make sure that this is in fact an accurate intersecting point. So we're going to bisect yet another angle, the very last angle. By now we already know exactly what we are doing. And I'm going to use my line tool to go exactly to the intersecting point. Right. Over there. And I'm going to continue passing it through to make sure that we have all three lines passing through exactly the same point. Great, looks good. Okay, so now when we want to draw a circle, we have a center point to draw a circle from. So I'm going to go open up my circle. Remember, when I open up my compass, I'm first going to open up my compass and test whether it is actually touching each one of my lines before I draw the final circle. If if the circle seems to touch the line this end over here but does not touch it up over here somewhere do not end up drawing the circle simply go ahead check your construction work the accuracy of your construction work if you find the fault erase it it's much easier to erase construction line than a final line and go redo your bisecting of an angle and then once you then fix the issue you'll probably end up having a more accurate center. Put your compass point on that accurate center, open it up to the side, and go ahead and draw the final line. Right, we know that this is going to be a final line, and that is going to be my answer. Right, let's look at the very last one on this worksheet. This one here, they are instructing us to draw the circumscribed circle. Alright, so circumscribed, if it isn't an inscribe, which is on the inside of the triangle, it therefore must be on the outside of the triangle, meaning that each one of these points over here would need to touch the circle. Right, so your circle will be on the outside of the circle. Let's construct or use the method of construction to find exactly the center of the circle. So if I've bisected the lines in this one over here, sorry, bisected the angles in this exercise over here to find the inscribe, we would have to bisect the lines in this one here to be able to get the circumscribe. So I go ahead, open up my compass over halfway, and I go ahead and I scribe my first arc. I'll do the same with 
with this side over here. Okay, remember my arcs will have to be the same distance as apart. So let's make sure that they are in fact. I'm going to make this one 30. And I'll make this one 30 as well. I have two intersecting points. This one is rather close. It looks like it's intersecting on that point there. So let's maybe we should just change the set sizes so that we have a clearer points there that looks a lot better and I'm going to pass a construction line through my intersecting point over here through here and I'm simply just going to continue this line here right so now I have bisected this line over here SolidWorks is so kind to show me that I have in fact accurately bisected that line. So let's go ahead and bisect our next line. Open up my compass from that point over there and I go ahead and scribe my arc. I open up my compass point from the other side of the line that I want to bisect and I'm going to go ahead and scribe my arc. Now you would notice you would notice that I did not open up over halfway. In fact, in this one I did, but not in this one. So I don't end up with any intersecting points. So let's make sure that I do, in fact, and uh, I'm going to change the distances on my arc to 25. And I'm going to change the distance on this arc over here exactly the same, 25. Because remember, when you're bisecting a line, you do not change the size of your compass. Right, you open it up to one size and you stick to that size. Okay, we have two intersecting points, one over there and one over there. Great, and I'm going to carry on. There we go, I've bisected this line over here now. And yet again, SolidWorks puts a little yellow dot there to indicate that I have, in fact, accurately bisected that line. You'll notice that this bisector line coming from this end over here and from this end over here gives me yet another bisector. And theoretically, this will have to be the center of the circle that I'm going to be drawing. But I would like to be 100% correct. So I'm going to not take any chances and bisect the third line. I'm going to go back to this point over here. I'm going to go straight over halfway. And I'm going to scribe an arc going through this end here. Might have to end up extending this arc over here slightly. Right. Seems fine. And I'm going to use my compass from this end over here. Because remember, this is the line that I want. So I'm going to use that end and this end over here. And I'm going to scrub another arc there. Just remember that these two arcs will have to be the same size yet again. So I'm going to make this one 30. And I'm going to make this arc 30. Right, you'll notice that I have a intersection point over here. And an intersection point over here. Take my line tool. Go from the intersecting points. And I'm going to pass it through the intersecting point on this end over here. Advantages yet again of having a computer. I can simply zoom in on the point. There we go. Right, so you'll see that I have a nice center point. This is my bisector over here from one line. There's another bisector over here and another bisector over here and where they all meet in the middle. That's the point where I'm going to put my compass point and draw my next circle. Right, so I'm going to go and open up my compass. Remember yet again, put your compass point point on the actual intersection points, 
open up your compass to this point over here before actually drawing the line open up the compass see if it is touching on this point over here does it also touch on that point when you open up and swing it around and when you swing it around to this point does it touch over here if they do go ahead and draw the circle remember that that final circle then will be in final line as well right and that will be your answer that's what your very last question or instruction would look like thank you for joining me with this worksheet I hope this worksheet has uh, brought some light and uh, you've learnt something valuable